<laughs> Adia Hanna, teacher and socialist. I wanted to say... I wanted to say that what those young men said was absolutely abhorrent. But I also think it's pretty awful to have parents and teachers say, well, they come from good homes. Implying, implying that such statements, such beliefs, such actions belong to boys who come from poor or bad homes. Not true. thing is that, as Grant said, rape doesn't just happen to women. It happens to boys, to men, to trans. We have to say... We have to say that it's got to stop. But we actually live in a society where violence, where exploitation, of treating people as if their children is normal. Now, you look at women. I know I fought for equal pay when I was a bit older than some of you. I know that there were women older than me at that time who were fighting for equal pay. Do we have it? No. Think about the issue of abortion. We have to pretend that we are having a nervous breakdown. We're a wreck. We are too childish to be allowed to make the decision. We're too childish to make the decision ourselves. We have to have yeah, doctors, gynecologists who will say, yes, you through, no, not you. There is no equal abortion rights, or not rights, um, access throughout New Zealand. Jo Bill English today said that he thinks the act is fine as it is. No, it's not. We, we have the brain to be able to make our own decision. Thank you very much. said the action is between you and Parliament. Well actually I disagree with her. The action is with you, with us. We need to be on the streets. Parliament has never granted women anything that we haven't fought for. We have had to fight for every fraction of a concession. So we, you, us, are really important. This is not a single issue. We want equality. This government stands... This government, this institution stands for division. Māori against Pākehā. Woman against men. Youth against adults. Youth against pain. No! So congratulations. You're great. And congratulations to the people who organised it. But don't stop here. Thank you.